So here we are, and I've got these two P90 pickups, and uh, they're very, very microphonic when I was setting up the guitar. So we're going to dip them up, and uh, i got a double boiler going on here. Uh, that's golf wax. It costs about four bucks at the grocery store, and I've got it in this pot right here. You can see it's all melted, and I had it in a double boiler system. Basically, you're taking the glass bowl, putting the wax in it, and putting water in the bowl below and letting it get hot. See, I took the water out though so the wax could cool down because it was at about 180 degrees and it needed to be around, you know, 150 or below. So I got it at 150 or below, and now we're gonna go ahead and dip these uh, cheap P90 pickups. Yeah, I was talking during this whole time, but it was way too loud. Um, so I had to kind of record over it and do this to level it out. So here I am. I'm gonna dump this thing right in here. I'm gonna put it there and give it the bath. And then I just wanted to test the water, see how much uh, room was in there. And then I did see that I had enough room in there for both pickups. So they're kind of tied together with solder at the, at the ground joint. So I got them both sticking in there and uh, I'm just going to sit there and uh, let them take a bath and fill up with uh, the wax. You're going to see some bubbles there and you're just going to want to let them sit in there until you, uh, you don't see bubbles anymore. Sometimes it gets just get a little wiggle. Helps uh, work out any bubbles that are in there. You don't want to let them sit in there too long because the wax is going to start hardening up here in just a second. You'll see. And uh, we're going to let them sit there and we're going to cut back to another clip. So now they're ready to come out of there. And as you can see, the wax is starting to harden up. Uh, it cooled down a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So I'm going to pull them out of here and I'm going to jump off just a little bit of the excess and you can see where the wax is starting to uh, harden up there. And I got wax all over the damn place. I'm going to dump off a little bit of excess. I probably dumped off too much, but that, it'll be all right. And put them on this plate to dry. What I should have done right then and there was take a rag and try to wipe off all that excess wax that was on there. Because later on I had to take a, uh, a heat gun to them. Just just a little bit just to soften up the wax so I could uh, so I could wipe it off there. So yeah, got them all waxed up and uh, gonna let them sit for a while and let that wax harden up. It won't take very long, hour or two maybe. And uh, gonna get them all wired up here in just a second and we're gonna give it a go and see if it sounds any better than what it did before. Of course, you don't know what it sounded like before, but trust me, it was terrible. I actually ended up putting them in the fridge for a little while just to speed up the uh, hardening process. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. All right, so I got it all back together. And uh, let me tell you the reason behind wax potting these uh, pickups. When I was wiring up the pick guard, I got to a certain point and went to test it. And I plugged into my uh, testing amp. And it, I could tell just immediately that everything was just very microphonic. I mean, every little move was a every touch, you know, you could hear it. So I decided right then, I was like, all right, I'm going to have to pot these. So you saw the process of it. And it's it's easy. Simple solution, simple problem. You just, uh, you just wax them up. A um, couple things to take away from it. Be careful if you're using a gas stove. Uh, use a double boiler method. Do not uh, dip your pots in that wax if it's 145 degrees or higher. And uh, be careful. Um, as soon as you pull those uh, pickups out of the wax, try to wipe down what you can. Um, I know I said in the video when it hardens up, it, it wipes right off, but I was mistaken. So you gotta clean those up immediately. Otherwise, you might have to take less of a, uh, a heat gun or a blow dryer just to soften up that wax enough where you can wipe it off. Um, you can get golf wax that I used uh, for about four bucks at any grocery store. It's just basic paraffin wax. Um, some other YouTube channels have used beeswax in the mix. You can do that as well if you want to. Um, I'm just going cheap because they're cheap pickups. I'm not putting too much time and money into them. 
to get the sound that I desire. Um, not recording an album, so why would I want to invest that much time and money in something cheap? So let's see how it sounds. Now, I mean, you probably got to knock pretty hard to hear it through the amp at all, but uh, it's a hell of a lot better than it was before. So with the P90s, it sounds awesome. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, cheap solutions to cheap problems. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.